So hello, once again it's Margaret here. Day two of VEDA for me because I cheated and didn't do day one, but shh, we won't tell anyone. Uh, so today I decided I'd talk about what college I'm currently attending. As in the last video I did mention that I was in college and we <laughs> stared at Emily's feminine features for quite a while. Oh, right! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, as I said, I attend Mount Holyoke College, which is in South Hadley, Massachusetts. It was the first all-women's college in the United States, started in 1837 by Mary Lyon, and 1837 also happens to be the name of the dorm I live in, so I'll never, ever forget the date that my college was started. It's actually the year, Margaret. Way to go. Um, so briefly, Mount Holyoke is a small liberal arts college. We have about 2,200 undergraduate students. And frankly, it's fabulous. I can roll out of bed eight minutes before class starts and be in class on time. We're that small. Um, so a question I get a lot is why did you attend a single sex college and despite a lot of people's initial reaction which is that I am a lesbian which I am not and not everyone at the school is a lesbian it's actually just because it was the best fit college for me personally uh, when I was applying to colleges I looked at a wide variety from really large universities to small institutions like Mount Holyoke and it eventually got down to the final three, which were Clark University in Worcester, Massachusetts, University of Vermont in Burlington, Vermont, and Mount Holyoke. And I visited Clark and I said, oh my gosh, this is the campus I want to be on. You know, it's kind of in a shady part of Worcester, but I can handle it. I'm ready to be in the city. I'm ready to go here. And then a week later, I visited the University of Vermont and I was like, hey, it's a city, but it's big and it's beautiful. I am definitely going to live here. This is the place for me. And then the same weekend, I attended the Acceptance Students Weekend at Mount Holyoke. And I walked in saying, no way, I'm not going to a women's college. And then that weekend happened and I walked out going, what am I going to do? do with my life because I'm really bad at making decisions and it eventually came down to the fact that Mount Holyoke was the best fit as I said earlier it was small it had a good humanities program and I liked that it was liberal arts and that I'd be able to explore other classes outside my intended major which is history so I guess in conclusion sorry I'm like watching Emily off in the side in conclusion don't knock off a woman's college right off the bat just because it's a woman's college that's what I did and I am loving being here um, <laughs> what <laughs> this is probably one of the best examples of why I love being here. Once again, this is my roommate, Emily. Am I allowed to touch my introvert? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, this is my introvert, Emily. And... AKA Creeper. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be my video creeper, I can tell. Mm -hmm. And, as you can tell, like, I know some people on this campus didn't have the best rooming experience, but, oh my gosh, like, you're, <laughs> like, contender to be maid of honor right now. <laughs> Oh, well. Yeah. Well, actually, mm, my sister might have a word to say about that. But you are a contender. That's okay. We're probably going to have like 20 years each on us until that happens. Yeah. The one problem of going to a women's college, there's no guys. But Really? <laughs> so, I guess I should sign off because this has been kind of long and tangenty and... A little bit like I am trying to sell Mount Holyoke, <coughs> which I am. <coughs> Sorry. Um, 
but if you liked hearing about my college if you appreciated my sense of humor please like the video subscribe if you like we also i also do cups covers with emily and a couple other folks who live in my dorm and i would love to hear from you on what you think i should do for other betas because i have some ideas but after about a week i'm like oh, I don't know what's going on so